Hi everybody, it's Random Terry here again, and I am bringing you a Timu haul. I've got another Timu haul for you, and there's a couple things that came in that were not in one of the shipments, and they came in, and then another whole shipment came in, and I think part of another shipment came in. It's, it's it kind of, and I'm trying to keep track of them online. So, <clears throat> without further ado, welcome to my channel, thank you for joining me, and um, I'm just going to push you slowly out a little bit. Do, 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 just because I have to. I don't look at the messes on my... Okay, that's far enough. Okay, so thank you for joining. If you're not a subscriber, please, you know, consider subscribing. Uh, hit the like button if you like this. And I hope you come and visit again. So let's get into my Timu haul. So this was a little package and I brought my scissors I didn't even look at these yet so these were two items from a previous haul that didn't come in and they came in in one little package and I think these were from my stocking stuffer hauls let's get it open here oh and it, yes it is a little item so it is a little it is a like a date night flip coin yeah, like you can see that through there. <sighs> Trouble getting the edge of that thing. And... Ooh. Sound like a coin? Yeah. <clears throat> so this is a date night flip coin. Food decision coin, flip to decide. Or like restaurant decision. You could make it whatever you want. But it says food decision coin, wise choice, and you flip it and... The other side says husband's choice. So I thought it's like about a size of a quarter, I guess. Maybe a little bit bigger. So I just thought that was cool. And that was a dollar ninety-nine. And you could put that like maybe in a little baggie or something and put it in stocking or or if you have a wedding and you're giving them a card, you could actually slip that in the or tape it to the inside of the card because that would be kind of cool to give to somebody newlyweds. Okay, so that was a dollar nine. Let's check that off my list. Check. Okay, and then the next thing here, it's like a magnetic wristband to hold like <clears throat> tools, screws, whatever on your wrist. So this is it, and I guess this is metal. Or magnetic. I'm trying to put that coin on it, but it's not really sticking to it. Scissors. They stick to it. Yep, okay. Magnet, 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 magnet. Okay. Nothing down there on the belt. So you would strap this around your wrist when like guys are working on the on the cars or something and they just want to keep the screws handy and it's, it's easy just to go, you know, when you're working and stuff, kind of like that on the wristband. So, and it does, you can tighten it up a bit. Oh, I have it folded over. Okay, there we go. Yeah. So that's it. Simple. And this little uh, magnetic wristband was $3.77. So I thought that was pretty cool. That's the inside of it. That's the outside of it. And sorry about the lighting today. It actually making me look weird. It actually makes my hair look a different color. It is. I try to do it. I have suicide hair. There it shows pictures of the wristband in use. 1680D ballistic polyester. Ballistic polyester. Interesting. Okay. Never heard of that before. Okay. Yes. Suicide hair. You heard me right. Sorry. I'm getting real random. Suicide hair because I, you probably know this died by my own hand. Yep. And I picked the wrong color. I need to stay away from ambers and coppers and stuff. 
because it looks really brassy, especially where the gray is. At least it's not gray up there. And there's not that much left of it, too. Had it chopped off. And this is not styled real well today. Oh, is there something else in there? Oh, no, that's just this label from the other side. Okay. The label from the other side. All right. And then we will move on into... This one kind of came sort of by itself. It is a motion light. And it was... $2.99, and I'm going to use this in my pantry closet because I have a um, a light in there now that's like a but uh, from Dollar Tree. Okay, this is rechargeable, so it gives you the, that cord. It gives you two magnetic sticky things. <clears throat> so, metal on one side magnet on the other you stick it under the cabinet or on the wall or wherever you want to do and it will like stick to it so you'd put them on the back of the light and let's see get the light out of there box is kind of bent a little bit so it's kind of okay come on I know you're in there. Come on out. Here we go. Got it. Nope. Don't got it. Got it. Nope. Yep. Got it. Okay. It is a motion sec ses sensor. Um, and on the back, it does have, like, if you were going to, I wonder if a push pin, no, it's too small for a push pin head, but like a little screw, tiny screw or something, put it in the wall and you can hang it like that. If you need to hang it the other way or under a cabinet, you've got those sticky things put on the side. I can probably just hang it like this in my cabinet. And I'm going to turn it on so there might be bright light. Oh, wrong end. Yeah. Well, that's better lighting, huh? Hmm. Motion. Wonder if it's gonna go off. Went off just a minute ago. Wonder why. I have another motion light that I have in the laundry room, which is really nice. It lasts a good while on a charge. I'm just gonna turn it off. Because some of these are now that I can see or can't see, it's off, auto, and on. So if you want it completely on, you would turn it all the way or auto. And I think that's when the motion detector light works. And I probably can't get it to work right now. I have it off. But I found out that other one, it has to be dark for it to sense the motion. When it's too bright, it doesn't turn on with motion. So I thought that was pretty smart of the darn thing. And for $2.99, it's pretty lightweight. We're going to see if it works in my closet. Because that button light, I go push it. It's from Dollar Tree. I push it and then I do whatever I want in the pantry and then I start to close the door. You know how many times I started doing that and realize turn the light off or it won't be there for my next time. And I think that one uses batteries. It's been lasting a good while though. For $1.25 and a couple batteries. So that is the motion light for $2.99. Then I will start with whatever comes out of this bag. Well, except for these things. I'm gonna show you what's in those thumbnails. Oh, pretties! These uh, was a set of 30 pieces and they're like little crystal danglies. And I got 30, I thought about putting them on the tree and they would probably be really pretty. Or make 15 pairs of earrings out of them. So for 30 pieces of these, it's $5.79. And I could just put a Christmas hook there, put them on a tree, or use them however you want to use them. String garland from a doorway thing and hang these up there. 
it would be really pretty. And there it is. Kind of hangs like that. Yeah, so pretty. 30 of them. I thought that was cool. They look cool. They're pretty. And I could see these hanging from the tree. So they're going to go on my tree when I get that out of storage. I, I go faux tree now because it's just rough going and getting a tree and dealing with the needles and hauling it and watering it and stuff. I'm getting too old for that stuff. I was going to quote from Lethal Weapon, that guy, but I didn't. <clears throat> because he said a nasty word. Okay. I like this. This is a Christmas top. Another top. It was... $10.19 and it's like the soft polyester type fabric and it is like a baseball sleeve top right and you know would it be Christmas only Christmas it doesn't have to be because the green is a green such that it might not have to be but isn't that cool kind of looks like a little folk art picture on there with all the little woodland animals and such and the green sleeves and the end of the green sleeves have like a band and the bottom is straight across basically it's a little probably uneven when I'm holding it up because it was kind of wrinklied up in the package so I thought that was cool I like this I don't look good in solid white, but if I have a print on it, it hides, you know, things I want to hide, sort of, or disguise, not hide, but disguise. So I thought that, and they, they're sending me things in these plastic baggies now. I don't know. Does anybody else get these bags? They're nice zip top. They're really soft feeling, but they do have a hole to like air, air out. And I was just thinking if anybody gets these, what do they do with them? Because I can't use them for anything wet or garbage. And I don't want to use them for food. So let me know in the comments. Because I've just been kind of throwing them away. Hmm. Oh. Here is another thing. I recently found out. And I want to kick myself in the butt. Because on Rakuten. If anybody's heard of Rakuten. I've been a member for years. And generally got out of going there first to shop online and I should have been because Timu is on there and one of their stores and I guess they give you 2% back um, but the more you shop and you go through there and you shop through walmart.com and QVC and I forget what else is on there um, it kind of starts adding up and then they send you a check a big fat check is what they call it or they can I think maybe deposit it or something I just have them send me a check so I ordered something recently, and I don't think it cost too much, but they had the 10x or 10 extra extra percentage back, and I think it was 18% back for Timu the day I did that. I don't know if it's still that way or not. Thanksgiving, it might be. Black Friday, it might be. So all of a sudden, I noticed there was $4 and something back on my Rakuten. So I'm going to check my Rakuten account and see if there's some sort of link and I'll put that, if I find one, in the description box below. But I wanted to put that out there if anybody's a member of Rakuten to get cash back. Because, yeah, I've shopped on there before and I've gotten a good, you know, check back every once in a while. Why not? And not, not much, but it adds up. It really does. So, I got done with that Christmas top. Sorry, got off course here. Um, that was 1019. Showed you the crystals. Okay, let's see what else is here. <laughs> ah, it's small, but it's folded. Oh, it's folded. Okay, so it might be kind of fat quarters. Six pieces of Christmas fabric. And I didn't write down the measurements of such. Oh, it does say it on the thing. 25 centimeter by 25 centimeter, which I don't know if that translates into like a fat quarter or not. 
but these were $2.49. And I thought if you're just doing a little project, I don't think this is a fat quarter. These are too small. These little pieces would come in handy. I'm just going to kind of flip through a little bit. Okay, there's that one. There's that one. All right. Got to put them down. Okay, this one is two pieces. Because I thought that was on the front, and that's the way it looked on the back, and I'm going, what? And I couldn't get, like... I guess they cut them all together. They laid them flat, so they kind of stuck at the ends. All right, so there's that one. Nice little trees, snowflakes, basically red background. Um, there's this one, which is kind of pretty, like just a red and green checkered with random little, almost looks like quilt, but not quite. Then there is... Okay. Darn, they do stick. I like this one, basically red and green. So there's that one, that's kind of cool. It's so quiet. Nothing running out. Hear anything humming or anything. Okay. And then that pretty one. That's like one. Two, three, four. Oh yeah, okay. This one's stuck all together too. And they feel kind of like a polyester. I think they are. I'll look on the thing. That one, kind of like the red one, but with green. And then last but not least, this one, which is just kind of, it would be cute just for winter. It's nothing, I don't think anything on there that dedicates itself to Christmas. But kind of, because it's like a wintry print. So, and I ordered these with something in mind, but, you know, of course now I forgot what it was that I wanted to make with these. So, yeah, I'm not going to try to get all these together here. I'm just trying to, a little bit. <clears throat> okay, and the paper, there we go. The paper does read 100% polyester. So, there. And these, I don't, I don't think I'll keep that paper. I'll just put them right over in my sewing area. So there, that's that. And those were, again, two forty nine. dollars And I thought that's kind of cool for, like, crafting or making, like, little tiny pillow ornaments or something for the tree. That's cool. Let's see what else is in my bag of goodies. Looks like there should be a few more things. You know. Um, oh, okay. Get everything out of here. Okay. These are Christmas cards. There's 12 of them. They're kind of small, almost like note card size. And I wanted to get these out because they're kind of funny on the front. And I am going to untie them. But this would be cool if you're giving them as a gift. They kind of got that twine around them. But I am taking that off to show you what they said. And they have like the craft paper type envelopes. Cool. And I should tell you the size of this. Somebody asked about the other Christmas cards. And I've yet to measure them. Whoever that was that asked, that was a good question. Um, they're kind of random sizes too. But I mean, different sizes. There's a couple this size and that size. And... The envelopes, even though the cards were the same, the envelopes that went with them were slightly different size. So there's that. <clears throat> but I can measure and give you an approximate of what they are. Um, and these four, four by five and a half, four by six or something like that, that's approximate. Let's see. Two, 
four. Yeah, probably four by six, like picture size. Okay, let's get to the cards though. Yeah. They have nothing inside of them, right? Uh, yeah, these are, ah, uh, they look like they're all, yep, they are the 12 days of Christmas. <clears throat> Nine ladies dancing. <laughs> Thought that was cute. Oh my, let's throw them around. Oh my, Atlanta. Oh, this is cute. Two turtle doves. They're the turtles' doves. Is that... Okay, there we go. Two turtle doves. There's the turtle, and there are his doves. <laughs> kind of a play on... A play on the statement. And 12 drummers drumming. Jungle bells. <laughs> These just got, I got a kick out of these. Partridge in a pear tree. This one's a little folded weird, but I think I like it still. Partridge in a pear tree. Wrong tree, mate. That's a bonsai tree, not a pear tree. <laughs> these would be funny if, uh, or fun to write little notes in them and like send them to, um, like, let's say, leave them around for my husband, you know, the 12 days of Christmas, and give him one each day. I thought that would be kind of cool. Or se separate them, whatever. Ten Lords of Leaping. Ten Lords of Leaping. And they're leaping because a little fox is saying, I put pins on their seats. See how cute these are? I'm like, I don't need any more cards, but... <laughs> I got them anyway, because I couldn't pass them by. Oh, these cards were four four ninety four for these the set, and I, I don't think that was bad. Uh, six geese laying, and one geese is saying, "Eggs, we lay eggs, not bricks." <laughs> really cute. Seven swans are swimming. And the big one has like a chicken on his back. Chicky chicky. Oh, okay. This one was the funny one that I saw. Eight maids of milking. And the one is saying, Jane, that's a bull. <laughs> Sorry. That just, that just got me laughing. It got me laughing. <laughs> And three French hens, wee oui, wee. Oui. They've one's got a little beret on. This one's just pretty. I like this one. Four, uh, yeah, four calling birds. There's four of them using the phone. I just thought that was that was just sweet. Um. Oh. Five golden rings or gold rings. See the the rings on his tail. I, is that a lemu? A lemur? I'm watching that commercial too much. Lemu the emu or whatever it is. Lemur. Does is that it that has the rings on its tail? I'm not sure offhand. And eleven pipers piping. Oh, I get it. Eleven Pipers Piping. The little guys are piping icing on it. Isn't that cute? So these I just thought were really darling. And I had to get them. Even if you drop just drop little notes to people. You could do them all to one person and put them on like a little 12-day gift thing. If it's, you know, or a secret Santa that, you know, you can give them a card. If you could give them a card every day, I don't know. That would be kind of cool. Or just send them out with different people when you're putting a little gift or something. I'll shove that string in there. Keep them all together. So I thought that was cool. Oh, I want to answer a question. Somebody said something about my nails. People are commenting. Um, 
I put a new set on. These are not, um, these are my nails and I use Color Street uh, strips on them. So I think somebody asked me the size and it, I was like, size on my nails? And I, I didn't get it at first and it took me a while to realize, I guess, Faux nails come in sizes. I don't know. I've never used those, so almost ordered some from Timu though. But so, and these are my little turkeys. If you can see them, turkeys on one. This one, I keep thinking it's chipping off, but that's just part of the feather, I think. No, that one's chipped off. No. No, it's not, because the other one's the same on the other side, so not chipped. So, yeah. So I use the Color Street, and I really like it. And these are my nails. They kind of grow, and my hands are all crooked. They used to be prettier. But age takes its toll. So, okay. And I told you the cards were $4.94. This is a very informative video. I told you about racketing. I told you about my nails. Okay, what I have up next here was $4.99. And I'm thinking maybe I thought it was a little bit longer or maybe longer and taller, but I'll give you an idea of what I'm going to do out on my porch. And it comes with, oh, kind of like a roll of white ribbon type stuff. Okay. And this is a banner. I don't think I can open it all up, but it's kind of like garden flag material. And it says, I want to open it all up. Okay. There's little grommets on the corners, metal grommets to hold. And it will say, Merry Christmas, but I don't have a long enough and it's folded in half. So, oh, okay, this isn't too bad. I might hang this from my porch railing on the front. So, and that's that's pretty nice. And this was $4.99. I think I already mentioned that the banner was $4.99. And maybe if I get my stuff out there, I don't know if I'll be able to take a picture or not. And if my husband wants me to take a picture and post it, you know, there is that. You always got to be careful. No, you can't trust everybody. And that's a shame that you can't. And I'm going to fold this back up. Why? Why am I even trying? <clears throat> and I got these. And then I have those long ones that I showed you in a last haul. Or a prior haul. Okay. Now you might be wondering what was in my thumbnail. Well. This one's supposed to be gold. I'll just pull it out of the bag to kind of show you a little better what it is. So it's like a little blow up. <clears throat> I got two red, two green, two gold. Christmas ball. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's the top of it. It blows up and it hangs and it is probably about two 24 inches in diameter, maybe? I don't know. Um, these are $8.99 each. I got six of them, and I'm going to hang them. They might be too big. Um, I have, like, two. The house, the pole, the pole, and then it turns the corner and another pole before the steps. And I thought about putting three in each, but all three of these might fill up each thing. So I might two, two, and two. And I have some, just some green garland from Walmart. God, can I show you this better? There you go. I tried to push the camera back so I could do that, and I'm going to fall off this chair if I don't watch it. So, there's that. And this took forever to blow up yesterday. I was, thought I could blow them all up, but this was like, it took me 25 minutes. Whew. Yeah, it was very tiring. So I thought, yeah, hang them. I got some green, just regular garland. I'm not going to black out the... Uh, okay. Whee! It'd be fun to play with, too. My, um, so I'm going to hang like some green garland between the posts and then the little hooks that are up there for the hanging plants. They could hold them, but I think there's two on each side of that, that if I wanted to put two in each thing, but I'm going to pull up the garland and put this, and I'm going to have garland through the 
uh, or lights through the garland, white lights through the garland, and the green garland, and then the balls hanging where they pull up all the way around. And then maybe on the front, on the railing below, I can put that Merry Christmas sign. And that's my plan. And that's what was in my thumbnail. Yeah. So they are $8.99 each. They're a little bit on the spendy side, but you saw how big they were. And I've seen people take these. You could probably tie them down somehow. And, like, put them in your yard, even. Uh, we got a kind of windy around here sometimes, and my husband thinks it's going to blow away. How are you going to keep them from blowing away? Um, so... I'm gonna tie them, tie them onto the thing, attach them. And if they blow around, fine. If they blow to crap, they blow to crap. I tried. And what I wanted to see was if there's grommets on all four corners. Yes, there are, the top and the bottom. There you go. So this I can secure by all four points. Yeah. That's my plan. And then maybe some lights around the railing on my porch. Yeah, so that's my haul for you for today. There's something else that I did get that I'm, I'll probably do a separate, here, I'll show it to you anyway. <clears throat> it is a domino train. So I believe I will show this and I'll try to show this in action. I'll make a little short video or something of it, but it does take two AA batteries, which I got on the table here, but then when I opened the thing and taken it out of the box, I looked at the bottom and it needs a screwdriver and I didn't bring one here. My luck. That was uh, 2024, which I'll tell you again, $20, 24 cents, 120 of the dominoes. Um, they're smaller than, well, it depends on what size dominoes you get, but they're smaller than the regular kind of dominoes. And, um, this one came with 120. Some of the cheaper ones, which were like 15, 14, 15 dollars, I don't know, in that range, I think, only had 60 dominoes. And I thought, for what, that five dollars more, 2024, with double the dominoes? That's fun. And it will lay them out. And then when it's done, you push the end and they all drop. And I thought that was kind of fun. And it'd be fun for um, kiddos young enough kiddos and I've got some a nep or yeah my nephew's kids my I just call them my nieces and nephews too because they are even though they're like great or second nieces and nephews yeah so for Christmas that'll be fun that's my haul for you today I gotta get off of here so I can put this stuff away wrap it up because my table has to be clear for tomorrow and for Thanksgiving Or today for Thanksgiving. I don't know. Maybe today is Thanksgiving. I don't know when I'm going to post this video. So if it's Thanksgiving's tomorrow, happy Thanksgiving. If it's today, happy Thanksgiving. So um, with that, I will sign off because I am starting to babble now. I don't know where my little thing is to push my button. Oh, my Ranta. Oh, there it is. Okay. Bye for now.